Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. But uh, can we step back into real boxing, real heavyweight boxing? Because we've got to do a little quick preview of Joe Joyce versus Derek Chisora. Uh, yeah, you've got Derek Chisora who's talks, you can talk a good game. And then you've got, I don't know if you've seen the, a, a clip of the face. The sort I've of watched face. it all. You watched it all? Yeah, wild. Uh, listen, Absolutely it's, wild. It's hilarious, man. It's just, it's just two different personalities, isn't it? It just, it's just, yeah. it's mental. I absolutely love this fight. Um, yeah, I people will say what they want to say about it, think what they want to think, but I love it. I absolutely love this fight. <laughs> um, for me, I, I, I've, I've always been open. Chisora's like my guilty pleasure. Chisora's like my box of chocolates. Chisora's my two beers on a Monday night. He he he's my extenders. He's my Love Island. He is the boxer that I just absolutely love, and 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 I feel bad saying this because I love Joe Joyce. I've like grown to know Joe. I get on really well with him. I get on well with all his team. It's just going to be a really great fight. But yeah, it's good. It's going to be a war. You know what it's going to be like. You don't. You can write the script now. It's just going to be two guys with probably not the best defense, but with. Granite jaws, but there's questions over Joe's after the Zhang fights. But before the Zhang fight, people was on about Joe having the best chin in world boxing. Mm -hmm. So it's just going to be 10 rounds of absolute rock'em, sock'em, Robox. I can't wait for this. No, I totally agree with you. I would, I love Dex Chisora like the next man, but I wouldn't call him my, my love island. <laughs> um, I do, I do love Derek, Derek Chisora. I must admit, uh, he's been fun for the sport over the however many years he's been in it, man. From probably 2010 onwards. Uh, 2007, he made his pro debut. There you 16 go. 16 years as a pro. 16 years as a pro, and he's still doing what Derek Chisora does. Um, mm. Funny guy, hilarious guy, um, and he does exactly what he says in the ten war Chisora. I think he's going to come at Joe Joyce. Joe Joyce has got those sort of like. Slow, methodical, but the thud and heavy shots. Dex Chisora's got that duck under, big overhand right. Will he land on Joyce's chin? Will Joyce use his jab and keep? It's going to be. Listen, whatever you think about that, like the one's thirty-eight, one's forty years old. They're both old men in boxing terms. Don't come at me, boys. I'm just I'm forty-two. I'm older than both of you, but they're both old in boxing terms. Um, and it's probably a, a must-win fight for both. Well, it is a must win fight for both because if, if Tesoro loses at 40 year old, this could maybe be his last fight. No, it won't be. I, I, that's what I know. That I know. I know. It won't be. That, 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 that will keep You've been saying this for five years. Come on. We'll probably see Derek Tesoro versus Jake Paul in some, at some point down the line. Who knows? That's probably that probably will happen. Um, well, maybe. Maybe Derek Tesoro will get involved with anything in, 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 the, in the fight game. And who knows? We might even see that. But yeah, definitely a must win for Joe Joyce anyway. Uh, he needs to. If he wants to get back to where he was before the Zhang first oh. fight and talked about with the Anthony Joshua's and all this sort of stuff, he needs to dispatch of Derek Chisora. He can't he can't make this a tight fight. He can't he can't it it can't be close for Joe Joyce. He needs to go in there and put a demolition job and get where he wants to be or where he was before that uh, Zhang lost, the first one. Yeah, look. Derek Chisora has made the O2 his home. He's fought there nine times, won eight. So he's got a really good record there. His only loss at the O2 was the rematch against Dillian White, where most people thought he was winning until he got sparked out in an excellent, excellent fight. He wants three more fights. He wants London. This is his last one. Mm -hmm. uh, London, O2, absolutely can't wait. Then Manchester, then finish off his career. Fight number 15, Zimbabwe. So it's just a wild, wild career. And um, some excellent, excellent nights from Derek Chisora. Some fantastic fights at the O2. When you look at the Takam War, when you look at Dillian White 2, as I previously said, Spilka, um, it, it, the list goes on. I, I really, really can't wait for this one. And it's a great, great card. You've got some really, really good fights. McCann Baluta 2, mm. Ryan Garner versus Archie Sharp. Mm -hmm. The the most fascinating fight for me on this card is Moses versus Maris Wack. Yeah. Because Maris Wack, I think he's been stopped twice, but so, so rarely gets stopped. And 
can really make people look quite shit, make really good fighters look quite shit. So if Moses puts a statement against Maris Wack, then it just reaffirms what most boxing fans already think about him. Mm, and you know how I, what I, what I think about uh, Moses too. I really, really like Moses. Really, really, mm. I'm a big fan of him. Um, Sam Noakes is another guy that's on the card against Indabasi. I like that fight. Sean um, Noakes. Yeah, Sean no, Noakes. Sorry, Sam Noakes, yeah. Sam Noakes was sparring Lewis Crocker a couple of, <laughs> a couple of weeks ago. That's why he's in my head. Um, yeah, I've just got Derek Chisora's box record up here, and I just want to run past. You mentioned a bit of Derek Chisora's career there. And you look at his box rig, right? And you look who he's fought. Kubra Pulev. Do you know what I mean? Dillian White twice. Ajit Kabayao. Carlos Takam. David Price. Alexander Usyk. Joseph Parker twice. Kubra Pulev twice. Tyson Fury. How many times he's fought Tyson Fury? Three times. Do you know what I mean? And now he's... Uh, Gerald Washington. Now he's fighting Joe Joyce. That is ev everybody bar Joshua and Wilder he's faced in boxing in that heavyweight division. What a, Look, what a he's for everybody and anybody that he's put in front of him, which is fair play to the man. One hundred percent. And what people forget, he was about on the old generation. He was the parson, the guard. He fought Danny Williams. He fought Sam Sexton. He is. He's been a constant throughout British boxing. That what has there been four Olympic cycles? There's been mm. so many world champions, but Derek Chisora remains. So it'll be a sad day when he does retire. I know people have been calling calling for him to retire for a very long time, but he's earned the right to just say call, call time when he wants to call time, uh, in my opinion. And he, he does take a lot of shots, yeah. But when when have you seen him really hurt? When have you seen him hit the deck? He's so rare. He's so so rare. Mm. Obviously, you talk about the Dillian White one. You talk about the David Hay one. He, he was getting he was getting a bit of a beating against Tyson Fury in the third fight, but he was still coming forward. He's still hot, uh, but I just think the ref had seen enough. It wasn't like he was on the ropes, really hurt, and his legs were gone. He's so probably Derek, gave, he's probably gave Usyk the toughest fight in, at the heavyweight division right now. This, like, maybe I would say he's, he's I dead. think Fury give him a closer fight overall. Fury did give him a closer fight, but Usyk said Derek Chisora has been the hardest puncher he's been in with. Mm, so no, that's, that's that tells you all. But we are only talking about Derek Chisora. I want to do talk about Joe Joyce because it was only, what, just over a year ago. That the first fight was in March 2023 against Zhang. Um, second one was September. So it was only then that before that, he was known as a top five heavyweight. He just beat Joseph Parker. And now look what Joseph Parker's gone to done. So just don't kind of right Joe Joyce off as a top heavyweight. Look at Jule Zhang and look what he's done. Look what Joseph Parker's he, done. Styles he, make fights. But I was just about to say that Styles make fights. I mean, Joe Joyce got beat by Zhang Parker, who Joe Joyce, let's be honest, battled him for a good majority of that round and then knocked him out. And I think it was the 11th round or the 10th, the 11th round or 10th round, I think it was, was it not? I think, Not, I think it was the 11th, yeah. It was, you're it was right. the late rounds anyway. Um, but then Parker beat Zhang. So like you said, it does, Styles does make fights and maybe Zhang is all wrong. But I've got to give, we talk about Derek Chisora fighting anybody and everybody. The fact that Joe Joyce got knocked out by Jilly Zhang and said, I want him, I want him again. Knowing what happened in the first fight, he went in there in the second fight and tried to... Completely agree. He tried to do it. So that shows you the, the, the balls and the guts and everything that Joe Joyce has. He does not, he's not scared of no man. I, like a lot of people might be scared of Derek Chisora because he's a, he is a scary dude, but I definitely not Joe Joyce. He'll not be scared of that man one bit going into this fight. And uh, like I said, he needs to win this fight to get to where he wants to be, where he needs to be and where he should be. Because like I said, we were talking about Anthony Joshua, we were talking about Usyk, we were talking about Wilder for Joe Joyce just a year and a half ago. Do you know what I mean? And this is the stepping stone that he needs because like I said, he's 38 years old to get back to where he is because the heavyweight division right now is... It's just that conveyor belt. If you keep winning, you get there. It's as simple as that. And you get them fights because look at what Saudi's doing. You're going to get those big fights. If you keep winning, keep knocking people out, you'll get that big fight in Saudi and it could be against one of the big guys. Um, so there's that little carrot dangled in front of you. If you want it, just go and get it. Yeah, look. But just a great fight. Really, really good fight. Just two guys going to be slugging it out. And... I think we're going to see a slightly different side to Derek Chisora around this fight week because 
one thing that kind of you notice with Derek, he can obviously be a bit erratic at times, but when he fought Kubrat Pulev and beat Kubrat Pulev at the O2, um, he got quite emotional after because the win, you could tell how much that win meant to him, headlining at the O2. And I think it's going to be an emotional night for him because it is his last night at the O2. It's what he has kind of made his arena, like the amount of Hotel Californias when he walks out to it, the old Derek Chisora's. It's going, it's going to be rocking in there. And I do think Derek Chisora might feel a bit emotional on Saturday night. Yeah, I agree. And uh, like I said, I'll be I'll be probably setting up watching it with my wife again because uh, my next show is not until maybe Barnsley or Belfast. I'm not too sure which one. Um, but I cannot wait. I'll be ch- I'll be sitting watching that fight. Um, it's an exciting fight. I love a heavyweight dust up. Wall Street memes casino. I'm fine. And sportsbook.